This is gonna be really weird. Hello you wonderful creatures, I'm back again with another video. If you don't know who I am, my name is B. I'm here to educate people on the stuff that you should get taught in school but you don't and I'm part of that video. Um, I'll put a link to that in the description below if you do want to see it. However, today... <laughs> today I'm going to talk about something that I think is important that I share with everyone because I obviously do a lot of videos on things that you all need to stop doing and although I don't do the things that I say that you all need to stop doing there are things that I do that I know I should stop doing and I don't want you guys to think that I think I'm like self-righteous because like, I'm not, I'm not arrogant, I'm, I'm not at all so I'm going to talk today about the things that I think I need to stop doing <laughs> because I know that a lot of the things that I do when other people do them, they irritate me so much. So I am a hypocrite in that sense because I know that I do some things other people find so annoying. <laughs> but it's fine, I'm gonna do this one today and then I'll probably make this into a mini series because I wrote a list and I already have 25 things on this list that I need to stop doing. So I'm probably gonna split this into a few videos um, because that's just, it makes sense to do that. I am the world's worst replier. You could literally text me on like a Tuesday at like midday and I will not respond to you until like Friday, if at all. I am the worst replier in the world. I don't reply to anyone, unless it's like my mum, my dad, my brother or my boyfriend. I never really reply to anyone. I can never really be bothered to talk to people. I'm the sort of person that if I don't want to talk to you, I just won't. I'm not going to entertain you and give you a conversation if I don't want to talk to you. So I just don't reply. <laughs> the amount of times that I think I'm just text them like two days later like oh my god I'm so sorry like I completely forgot to reply to you whereas in reality I didn't I just didn't want to talk to you at the time. To be fair on the other side I do actually sometimes genuinely forget to reply because I'll be like doing something on my phone and I'll get a text and I'll like swipe it down and I'll read it and then I won't reply to it at the time or like it's too long for me to reply to it at the time I'm just like, I'm busy I'll do it later and then I completely forget that you even texted me in the first place. I am awful. <laughs> okay I think this is quite typical for women um, because I know a lot of women that do it and I know a lot of men that complain about women that do it. <sighs> I'm guilty of asking my boyfriend, oh what do you want to do today babe? Knowing full well that I know what I want to do and we're going to do what I want to do. <laughs> like I've already made the plans, the decision for both of us. I'll just pretend that you have a say in what's going on today. So I'd just be like, oh babe what do you want to do today? Oh I want to stay in bed and chill babe. We're not doing that. Like I've I do it all the time. <laughs> I don't ever think he actually notices though. If he does, he doesn't tell me. Um, I have what a lot of people call word vomit. I tend to speak before my head tells me whether I should speak or not. So there's been many occasions where, because I'm a very honest and abrupt person, I'm kind of brutal, I'm just kind of straight to the point. I'm blunt is probably the word that I would use. But there have been many occasions where in certain situations I probably shouldn't have said something and I did. So let me try and think of an example. When I first met my boyfriend, I remember what we were doing at the time, but we were doing something and I was playing a game on my phone. I don't, I feel like we were just watching TV or something and I just, I wasn't really into whatever we were watching. And he turned to me and he said, God, are you that bored? And immediately, without my brain even thinking, I just went, yes. And then his little face, he was like, really? I was like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> there are just many occasions where my mouth just goes and my head just is like, stop talking, but it won't. I feel like I say this a lot in my videos, but if you know me in real life, you know this to be so factually correct, it probably hurts. I am the person that is late for everything. If it's something important, if it's like work, I can be there on time. If it's like a social event, and I have to actually psych myself up to go outside anyway. I'm just like, I really can't be asked to go and I'll sit there and battle about it for like half an hour and then I'm like, I should have left 20 minutes ago. But I'm late for everything and it's a problem. My friends have gotten to the point now where they tell me that I need to be there at like half six when actually I need to be there at half seven because they know that I'll turn up at like quarter past half past seven. I remember there was one night that I was going out with all the people from work and I think I've said this before but I live 20 miles from where I used to work but at the time I lived 40 miles from where I work um, and I had to pick up two people on the way so I was meant to be at my friend's house at I think either 10 or half 10. I feel like it was probably 10. I knew that I had to drive from my house to another town which I think is about 25 to 30 miles from where I lived and then I had to drive another 10-15 miles 
to another person's house before I could go to the original, like, meeting point. And I had to be there at, I think, 10. And I left my house at quarter to 10. And I think we actually got there at probably about quarter to 11, maybe a bit earlier. But I remember being on the phone on the way there and I was going down the motorway and I was like, legit, be ready when I get there because you need to just jump in the car, we need to go. And I ended up getting there about three quarters of an hour late, possibly an hour late. I don't remember, but I know I got there extremely late. Like, people were ringing me and texting me, like, are you actually coming? I'm like, yeah, I'm on my way. Um, I'm one of, right, I wanna say, I'm not, I am a lazy person. I'm definitely a lazy person, but, I'm not so lazy to the point that I don't think it annoys people. I tend to make things like sound like a lot more effort than they are. That's another point against me. But I don't think I'm lazy enough that it annoys people. However, I am one of those people that will say, oh, I'll do it later, knowing full well I'm not gonna do it later. Yet literally yesterday when my mum asked me, oh, can you put the washing out on the radiators for me? I was like, yeah, that's fine, I'll do it later. And I knew. I knew that I should have just said, can you just do it? Because I know that I'm not going to do it, but no. I said, I'll do it later. And then three hours later, she's doing it for me. And I'm like, oh, I was just about to do it. I do it all the time. I just say, yeah, I'm gonna, I'll do it later. I'll do it later. No, I'll do it later. Thinking that, so, like, I do actually genuinely think that sometimes in my head, I do think I actually will do it later. But most of the time, <laughs> just say that I will, knowing full well that I won't. I'm just I'm one of those annoying people. It's, it's bad. <laughs> Building on that, I don't, if, if I do start to do something, I very rarely, very rarely finish the most basic tasks. I have a pile of washing that I need to put away and I'll put away like the stuff that gets put into drawers, the stuff that needs to be folded, I'll put away. And then the stuff that I need to hang into my wardrobe or my cupboard, I'll leave on the floor and I'm like, I'll do it later. I know that I won't, but I don't ever finish the most basic of tasks. Like I've already started putting my clothes away, but like I've done enough now. I don't need to get hangers out and put things on hangers and put them in all that's just so long. And this is what I mean. I make things sound like so much more effort than they actually are. I'll be in bed and I sleep on this side of the bed. My boyfriend sleeps on this side of the bed when he's here. My lamp is there, <laughs> but I will make him get out of bed and turn the lamp off because I make things sound like so much more effort than they actually are. I said this in my 50 facts about me, but I don't personally see it as a problem. <laughs> but I know that a lot of other people get really annoyed at me about it. I tend to leave parties, nights out, social gatherings, probably a lot earlier than socially acceptable. I went to a friend's house and I was chilling, it was fine. I have said before, I have a lot of confidence issues. I'm very socially not okay. I don't like talking to new people. Being in a big group of people gives me anxiety. I hate it. But there was probably only about five people <laughs> in the room with me. And it got to about 10. And again, my, my, my mouth spoke before my head thought. I looked at my phone and I was like, oh, it's 10. I was like, is it socially acceptable for me to go home yet? <laughs> I'd gotten there at like nine because <laughs> I can just never be bothered. I just go out and then I'm like, I'm like so buzzed for it when I go. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna have a great time. And then I get there and I just get so bored. And I'm just like, I would rather be at home in bed. <laughs> I would, I'm not even gonna lie about it. Anybody that shares this with me, please let me know and just know that you're not alone and that it's completely fine for you to leave places early if you don't feel like you wanna be there anymore. It does annoy some people. I can literally be somewhere for like an hour and I'll just go home, I'm just like I'm bored, I wanna go back to bed. The, the stupid thing is, is that I'll get home and I won't go to sleep until like two in the morning. <laughs> I just didn't wanna be outside anymore. I'm just like, no, I'm just gonna go home. Gonna watch Netflix in bed, <laughs> chill out, watch some YouTube videos. <laughs> oh, Shane Dawson's posted, I need to go home and watch it. I hate it. People hate me for it, but I'm just like, I don't like being outside. So, <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Right, if I go to like London and I get on the tube, I am one of those really annoying people that puts my bag on the seat next to me. I don't particularly like putting my bag in between my legs or on the floor and I hate having it on my lap as well. I don't understand how people can have it on their lap, it really annoys me. So I'm one of those really annoying people that puts my bag on the seat next to me. I do move it, but only if I see people getting on the train and they are like, I can see them out, like I'm on my phone and I can see them out the corner of my eye, either walking towards my seat or they're just sort of giving me a look of like, are you going to move your bag? And I will literally not even look up. I'll just be sat there like this. 
and just put it in front of me. I do move it, but not very often. Only if you make it blatantly clear that you want to sit down, I'm just like, I don't really care. There have been many occasions when I've been coming home from work, and I remember when I used to get the train home from work, and I used to get a quarter to six train, I think it was. And because where I live, trains run every hour, so that is basically the rush hour train. Everyone finishes work at five, they get to the train station, and they get on the quarter to six train. And there was one day, there wasn't actually that many people, to be fair, but I sat down <laughs> and was very happy about it. I was like, thank God I got to sit down. I've been on my feet all day. Cause I used to work in a retail store. So I've been on my feet all day. I'm tired. I want to go home. I've been up since like five o'clock this morning. I'm sitting down and I'm loving life. I remember more than once, but on this specific occasion, a woman came up to me and just sort of like stood there and looked at me. And I was sort of like, can I help you? And she's like, are you not going to move? No. She did the whole, I've been on my feet all day. This is a, this is so ridiculous. And she was in like, what I would call office attire. So sort of like smartly dressed, blouse, heels. Well, one, I don't believe that you've been stood up all day because you are not dressed to be stand up, stood up all day. Two, it is your own damn fault. If you chose to go to work this morning in a pair of six inch heels when you stand up for a living, <laughs> that doesn't sound like it's my problem. Therefore, I have no sympathy. I'm staying where I am because I actually have been on my feet all day for eight and a half hours today. And I've been up since five o'clock this morning. I'm not moving, jog on. <laughs> anyway, guys, that is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. Like I said, I just want to let you guys know that I, I'm not arrogant and I don't think that I'm any better than anybody else. In fact, I'm probably worse than a lot of people. I am trash. But that is the end of the video. Make sure that you give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to me if you enjoy my content as a whole and hit the notification bell so that you never miss a post. I post on Tuesdays and Fridays. And make sure you follow me on Twitter and Instagram. They'll be here, as always, and in the description box below. As always, I will be here until you tell me not to be. I'm probably still after that anyway. Have a great week, guys.